Hey, welcome back to Geeking Out. I'm Elisa. I'm here with Elaine and Jess. Last week on Geeking Out, Jess and I talked about, we previewed the Flash versus Arrow crossover, which happened this week. And today we're just going to continue that conversation and I guess review the two great crossover episodes that we saw this week. So guys, so much to talk about, but let's start with the Flash episode. What did you guys think of, of uh, the first part of the crossover? I loved how Oliver was giving Barry so much attitude about how he doesn't case scenes. I thought that was awesome. So <laughs> my opinion of that episode is very high because although I love Barry and his super speed is very impressive and very wonderful, he seems to have a little bit of arrogance, even though he, it's almost not quite yet deserved because he hasn't been acting as a vigilante for as long as Arrow has. Mm -hmm. So I, I did like that he kind of put him in his place a little bit. Okay. There may have been some damage, but I got the job done. I was the hero. Barry, when you approach a new environment, do you case every inch of it? You could. You have the time. But you don't. You just run in blind. Yeah. It was, it was different for yeah. Barry a little bit, because usually when it's just him, he's kind of like, just want to save everybody. Like, he's just very friendly. Yeah. And he has, I guess it's because he has no one to really, like, combat with besides bad guys. Um, but yeah, Jess, what did you think? I personally overall loved the episode, and one of the big standouts for me was the chemistry between both of the cast. You didn't get to see the full of Team Arrow in Central City, but you did get to see the original three, so Oliver, Dig, and Felicity, and their chemistry with Team Flash, so Harrison, Caitlin, and Cisco was amazing. Like, it was a huge standout. I was shocked. I was like, oh, this is gonna be so awkward, but it was so amazing. Carlos Valdez as Cisco Ramon is probably, he should win all of the awards. Like, they should make an <laughs> award just for him and give it to him and be like, wow, you deserve this. You are a wonderful character. Here you go. And another thing that I really liked was Oliver finally pointing out how shifty Harrison Wells is. Him in his <laughs> stupid <laughs> fake wheelchair. Oh my God. Just, it, but it was great. There is something off about that guy. Yeah, that's so true. I, I'm always waiting for someone to be like, that doctor is very creepy and yeah. no one ever catches on, shockingly enough, because he's creepy all the time. But yeah, I liked that Oliver pointed that out. Um, also, I loved the fight scene between Oliver and Barry, because we know in this episode, Barry goes a little bit crazy because of the villain, which they called Prism in this episode. Um, so their fight scene, I, I read something that a lot of that fight scene was Stephen Amell, who plays Oliver, um, did a lot of that by himself because a lot of the flash <laughs> running around is like a, a, an double, effect. Right? Yeah. What's that? Digi double. D yeah, exactly. So it was just him kind of like fighting the air, which is really, but it turned out so great. And like it was, there were so many like cool elements to it, that I, fight scene. Uh, aside from the fight scene, mm. I loved when Diggle was first introduced <laughs> to Flash. Just like the sheer look of disbelief on his face was so funny. Man, that's not freaking you out. Let's go. But let's move on to the Arrow episode, um, which was also funny compared to all the other Arrow episodes but still darker than the Flash side of the Definitely crossover. Definitely darker, yeah. Yeah. What, what did you guys think of that one? What was your favorite part about it? Well, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of like the meat of the episode as a favorite part. It's just like the ending just stood out so much <laughs> when they really, like they were so catering to the audience with the script at that point saying who would win. And as they were going back and forth about I would win because I have superpowers. No, I would win because I have experience and tactical skills. <laughs> You're like, those are the exact arguments that I have with people in real life all the time. Who's going to win? <laughs> and they don't tell you. Exactly. They like leave you hanging at the end. Yeah. It's, it was, it was a, a great painful. ending. <laughs> yeah. I also loved about this episode, the Arrow episode, was that all we still had flashbacks, which was good. And the Arrow flashbacks that we got were like directly related to Oliver's like conflict in this episode because he was, Barry was telling him you don't have to torture people. It's like get answers. Like if you're a hero, you shouldn't be this violent. Um, so the flashbacks show a little bit of why Oliver is like that, why he's so damaged. Um, compared to Barry, which was really cool. I really liked that a lot. Jess? Fair enough. Um, 
I just, honestly, I think that the crossover as a whole, instead of taking it as two separate episodes, but kind of marrying them together as one big thing, it had something for everybody. And that's what made it so spectacular. You know, you had action, you had adventure, you had a heart, especially the Dig and Lila scenes. She's not his wife yet. <laughs> Thank God she will be. But it had humor. It had like everything that you could possibly want from a superhero show. Like honest to God, I thought, oh my God, this is my early Christmas present. Thank you, Santa Claus. <laughs> Thank you so much. Like it was just a fantastic show. And I think um, specifically on the Arrow side of things, mm -hmm. we have watched Oliver struggle with his identity crisis and losing Sarah all season. And I think that that role reversal where Barry kind of had to play Oliver's mentor for this one specific instance and kind of had to be like, you are a hero. There is a light inside of you. That was so different, but so, just so incredibly well done. Bravo, Arrow <laughs> cast and crew, and Flash ca cast and crew, bravo. My socks were officially knocked off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was nice to see their, like, the biggest element of each show move on to the other one um that they were like really but back to the ending for a second we've had this conversation so many times but since they yes. left us hanging let's go back to it one more time who would win oh god um <laughs> I, on popular opinion the flash i think with some experience and if he was under the influence of somebody like prism again i think that he totally could I think in that particular fight, that Arrow would win. And mostly because he's way more mortal than the Flash. The Flash actually has to hold himself back. Otherwise, he's going to murder him. And he can't just magically heal like the Flash can. Mm -hmm. So he does have to watch out for that. But in the future, I just think the Flash would absolutely <laughs> yeah. win. <laughs> yeah, I think in this instance, Arrow would win too. Just And it, he just has so much experience. And his life has been so tragic and difficult that all of that built up would just I mean it's it's just so much that you can put into a fight and Barry's just still new so my money is on Oliver Queen at this point but who knows we'll debate this again in the future I'm sure like <laughs> if we they have do. another crossover <laughs> episode <laughs> yes. I'm hoping for multiple ones every year please <laughs> <laughs> please I agree there should be more and more crossovers because they're awesome so thanks for talking Arrow and Flash with us again. Um, we'll see you next week on Geekin' Out.